Okay, so it's short introduction again. So this practice is going to be especially for uh, for our subscribers. So every explanation will be held in English. Uh, so enjoy. Okay. So start to your shoulder, right hand sweep. And cut down. Okay, this is a kind of a bow. All right, let's start with a warm up. So starting with the basic exercises. First, let's start with a grip. Right hand right below the blade. Left hand at the very end of your sword. Please don't hold your sword like this, especially not like this, okay? This is also wrong. Just like this, okay. Put it horizontal and up and down and up and down. Machine come to your feet. Turn front, okay? This was the place, okay? Imagine cutting the opponent's wrist. Next place is the head. Okay, this is a power weapon. No need to cut strong. Imagine this as taking your hands off, not behind your own. And then just hitting the head. Okay, thanks. So, one down, one up. One down, one up. Okay? And now, put your hand up, and let's make a di diagonal cut. Po przekonu, tak? Diagonal cut, one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. Don't find the legs. One, two, one, two, one, two, hop, one, hop. Okay, diagonal cut. So imagine cutting somebody through their chest. Okay, and now let's do thrusts. We need steps for that. So put your sword horizontal again. And thrust and step. Thrust and step. Together. Thrust, step, thrust. Usually there is no reason to, to thrust while you step back and let's not do that. Okay, same thing with stepping, but with cut. Okay, so put your sword up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, my legs come together and then they go apart. Together and apart. Together, apart. Together, apart. Okay, go. I'll start as you can. Put your start in front of you. Imagine your tip stays in the same place. And twist your hips. And twist your hips. One and two. And one and two. Hop, hop, hop. The same hop. thing goes down. Down, rotation, and down. Rotation, down, up, down. Okay? These are all blocks. I block an incoming strike. I block an incoming strike. I block incoming strike down. I block incoming strike down. So today we are going to go through a few of the first points of lightsaber fights. There are actually seven, or up to nine, or up to a couple more. Depends who inter interprets the, the, the law and uh, the original history. So uh, we went from the first one, the Shicho, uh, the second, and up to fifth so far this year from September. And today it would be the sixth form, the Nim Niman. That is a part that is supposed to be the summary of all of them and be kind of a mixture. Okay, when the fighter actually switches the, the style. We did it quite often in here. This might be a bit uh, uh, confusing for many to switch styles all the time instead of just focusing on one particular style. Okay, we're gonna go through like five of them today, so keep your minds open. Uh, let's just come up. Let's start with the first one, Shicho, so that's the close position. And we're just gonna keep the distance, okay? That's the most important thing. Keep your distance, if the tips Meet, that's okay. This is way too close. Okay, 
okay? I can just hit him whenever I like. This is okay, I need to commit myself a lot to hit him. So this is like a say, okay? If I move front, you move back, right? If I move back, you move front. If I rotate, you rotate. If I let go, you should feel the step. Either this side or the front. Okay, I lead now with my rope. I, I tell him which way to go. If he falls correctly, I can be more aggressive. Okay, and check if he hits the distance. If I can actually reach him, if his reflex is fast enough. Okay? So make pairs, step aside, step aside, step away. So uh, like the most basic mistake over here, Martin, come see how to stay. <laughs> no, you're not a mistake. But what people make, it, what kind of a mistake they make? They put the tips very far up, up, high up, okay? Keep it like this. This is very simple to reach hand. Okay, so this is very bad. Uh, as long as you want, come to the conclusion, so come, 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 and go for uh, full contact, okay? So that's one. The second one would be to step aside and, and keep the sword away from the line of your nose, okay? I need the sword here, otherwise I go in, okay? So keep the line, keep the, keep the level, okay? And let's carry on. That was the first fourth and the most basic position. Okay, I'm gonna call this like first, second, third, fourth, and five positions now. So the first one, the shicho. I guess you won't remember the names so far, maybe later. So this is the first board. Okay, now let's switch to second. This was both hands. Now we're gonna go to one one hand. Okay, step like keep my position. Right leg front, single line. The tip of my blade is also on the same line, and the hand is top tip to the right. Okay, legs bent. This is based more like uh, European sport swordsmanship. Okay, and from here keep your wrist and let's cut diagonal, let's push here. Left and right, left and right, left. Right, right, left, hop, 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 hop. Okay, keep your blade, keep your sword right next to the blade, not over here. Over here. Okay. And the same thing goes for legs. So I go down and down and down and down. Down, 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 down. Wide position. Sheroka position. That for me is at least two squares. Okay, if you're taller, then it should be wider. Okay, and the same goes for front. Okay, and let's even make it further. So let's go down, yes. Reach as far as you can. Once again, go back to the position. The tip in the middle and front. Good, good. Let's keep down, keep down for a while. And back to the position slow, the tip goes at the level of your head. Okay, half side of your body, at least a quarter of your body to your opponent. Okay? Position and front, hop, and go back. Yes. And hop. And back. And hop. And back. Side. And hop. And back. Cool. Okay, now. Let's come over here, please. Get all the here. <laughs> okay, you keep your blade to the side. And now we're just gonna improvise a bit. But we're gonna only use the wrist at this very stage. Okay, one hand and only the wrist. I'm going to attack where your sword is not. So let's go over here and just block, right? If I go to the leg, just lower your sword. If I go here, then if I go for the head, okay, take a look, that's a very short cut. I don't put my hand up and down. There's no need for that. This is a very powerful weapon, right? So all I do, do nothing, please. I will go like this, and I will still reach me. So you have to put your sword up, right? 
and the same if I lower my sword and go for a trap. Do nothing, please. Okay, that's exactly what we did a moment ago. Do nothing, please. All you had to do was just lower your sword, right? Okay. Okay, how about we don't trust, okay? We don't hit for the belly. And now let's move a bit. So each cut go to the step. Okay, just right leg. Right leg strong always. Okay, go. Cut. Okay. Go. 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 Okay. And my turn now because he goes back. One, two, one, and two. Okay, as, I go as far as I can with it. Okay, and go back. Oh, my okay, so we have a special, let's say, photography. Okay, a basic form. Do you remember? Let's go with this. No, 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 I go, I go first, I go first, I go from. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to remember that, okay? If you do, you can use it now. Alright? Thank you. Okay. So that was form one and form two. So a reminder. Form one, form two. I'm gonna go for form three. The opening. Both of us, right? And then switch. Okay, much shorter position, defensive position, completely defensive so also used for by Obi-Wan Kenobi in canon. So this focus only on defense, on defense, okay? And this is where we go with the most basic form. So attack me. One and two and three and four and back one, two, three and four. Okay? And we can go on like this forever. Okay? So just four cuts again. From the right side, left side, down. And down. And I do the same. From my right shoulder, one, two, and three, and four. That's the short version. Yeah. Let's do the full one. Let's go. Okay. Come, come on. One, two, and three. And now I go with the full rotation. Just to have more momentum. Okay, and now we're gonna do almost the same, but forget the order. Just randomize the defense with the attack. How about we do this together? Okay, attack me. However you like. Well, this was senseless because you are striking just where the blade was. Let's, let's avoid this. Okay, just try to where the blade is. Somewhere else, okay? And we switch. Defend them whatever you, however you like, whatever fits you. We, we, we didn't practice this, but it's fine, completely fine as long as they touch and as long as it doesn't touch their form. Okay? So, there are like three basic things that we learned here, okay, at those practices at Saber Arts Academy. So one of them is how to improvise, and we are improvising at this very moment. The second thing is how to fight, and that is the third thing. Uh, how to fight, how to fight in, in reality. And the third thing is to uh, to choreograph. Do choreograph. Okay. So the first thing, when we do improvisation, we try to learn how to be predictable. That's the actual przewidywalne. And to do that, we have to keep a very certain position. Okay. It's like, if my position like this, I'm going to cut from up down. If I keep my position like this, I'm going to cut over here. If I'm going to keep my position like this, before, I'm going to cut down, okay? And not up. And not in this case, because this is misleading. Let me wrong. If I go here, I go down. If I go here, 
and the tip is low, I'm going to drop it. Okay? If I go like this, I'm going to break down. Okay, these are the very basic of being predictable. If you learn how to be predictable, then you learn how to be unpredictable, and you learn how to fight. Okay, because you can be misleading later on. I stay like this, but I attack from down. This is very misleading for an opponent. Or I actually start attacking and change my direction later on. Okay? So this is actually a good lesson to learn how to fight by learning how to improvise and be a good fighting partner. Okay, stop. Step aside. Go to each other. One more tip, if this is still difficult for you, and, you, and I see that you try to do it too fast for your partner, that is still a beginner. How about you divide it in two parts? So, one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. I count in my head, okay, because I want to go slow. One, I take position. Two, I cut. One, I take position, two, I cut. Okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. Okay? So switch partner and go slow. Like, go slow motion. Okay, bullet time. Go like that. We're gonna go for one that particular exercise that everyone enjoys the most. I'm going to be in the middle and I'm going to have two op opponents and one attacks me and then one and the second one attacks me and then no, oh, come on, hit me, okay? So one more tip we are going to slow motion you can actually aim for the body and we have to work with something, okay? So you can actually go for the body by going so slow One more time, then you start Okay, now, that's it. We're gonna keep going until I say change. But before that, how about we practice their side? So, now, do it together with me and focus on me. So I attack and I step back. Now it has time for another person. And now I can attack from another side and I step back. And now I can go with somebody else and I step back. Okay? Each time I go front and I step back a different time in the middle. Okay? This is enough for the three of you. And uh, just one comment. Mercer and Lukas. Uh, this is senseless. Uh, what we just did, so don't keep it as a technique, okay? What I usually should do, I should step out of those two guys and keep them in front of me. And then maybe I have some chance, but the best chance is to run away. Okay? So keep in mind the other opponents in front, because otherwise those two guys have to well, focus so much on making, giving you time, that it is... Uh, Quite ridiculous. Actually, the actors or um, stuntmen that does this choreography is like two versus one, two versus three. Have to do a lot of dancing and do a lot of sensor stuff to keep this entertaining. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna go for four. Number four. We still have time. So keep your space. Keep your space. Make sure you have a space. Okay. And there is no one nearby. Okay, there should be enough place. Okay. Now, num for number four, let's remind you that was for number one, that was for number two, that's for number three, and now for number four, it looks more like this. I just keep wide open. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Uh, and actually, uh, I try to step a lot. This is more like capoeira. Okay. So now pick a square for yourself and let's step like this. Left and back and back. Hop, 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 h
movement, self movement, sound. Oh, oh, oh. Keep moving. Bend your position, go low, and again. Okay, try to wave your thought at the same time. Make sure not to hit anyone. Just try to avoid now. I can just go a step back and that's completely fine. Once again. Okay, so he helps me a lot. Okay. But still, if I don't move, yeah, that would be the place. But I go down and let his thoughts go on. He cannot change the direction of his stuff, and I am sure he can. But he doesn't do that now, just for the sake of the attraction. Okay, go around, up. Now, hit for the belly. Hit for the head. I go off the line. Okay, forget your sword. You can just put it right over here. It's completely unnecessary now. Okay. Just get used to your, the sword flying all around. Mm -hmm. So now let's try some technique. Okay, so straight for the head. We didn't go to form five, but has a very strong attack. Go back. So you go over here. To one of the four oh. hit his belly and step aside, okay, in case his sword keeps falling down. Okay? So I just step like this. And step aside and put his belly, okay? At the very moment he put his belly up, he's wide open, okay? He's still gonna cut down even if I cut him, so I have to step aside. I put him in the basic position, like very wide open. Step aside and I just cut him, okay? I can do the same for the other side, that's a bit more tricky because I have to take my lightsaber back to line. Okay, and that's it. Try this again, please. And much more common moment would be to go for the leg. Go for the leg. Okay, very common when we do spine, we put with soft, soft legs. So, well, they're not so soft, right? But the thing is, I don't step back because I, I lose my chance to hit him. Okay? What I do is I just I just take my hand away and use the distance I keep to hit him. Okay, right now we need to make a step to hit each other. One of us has to commit. What you have to do is you, do, you basically have to uh, hang in the air. Zawisność okay. powietrze. Don't move this plate. Just move. I aim for the left. Whoa! That is fast. Okay? Thank you. And we're gonna go briefly to form five. Okay? The form of Anakin Skywalker. Jemso, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly. Jemso. Jemso? Okay, let's go with Jemso. Uh, and this is a very powerful form that basically tries to break your opponent. So keep your like 
search for him, okay? And the very basic thing over here would be to smash his sword and then go, okay? So I'm not trying to go around, you know, no, no, no. I just try to smash his sword and then. Oh, I just thought it was actually disabled. Uh, so uh, that's the basic thing that I try to do now. I have something that blocks my leg, so I smash it, and then I can just either go for the hand or for the head. Hand for the head. Okay, that would be it. So let's let's try the other side. Put your sword up. Okay. Put it to the to your hip. Up, hip, smash. And go. Yes. Switch legs while you do the cut. So let me show you. That's the position, that's the preparation, that's the smash, and then another cut. Do the step. Okay? Do the same. <coughs> yes, and hold. Okay? You can use like 90% of your strength now. Okay, these those blades don't usually tend to break. Uh, <laughs> as long as they're not from AliExpress. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so enjoy. Okay, just smash even if they're and not. carry on. Okay? <laughs> so usually as uh, so we start with form three, I said do not attack with the blade, right? It's senseless. He, he's gonna block. Go where the sword is not. Okay, if he attacks, just block. Okay, the form 5 has a very different uh, attitude and tries to break whatever is in front. Uh, in this case, just please go, uh, go play for my head, for my hands. Okay, so what I try to do now is not to block, try to smash his sword and later go for his head. Okay, that's just one more example of, of how this works. In a bit over time, we start like 10 packs, so uh, we're gonna switch now to one more exercise with lightsabers and go back to improvise. improvise. So, but I want you to switch styles in between. So, how about we improvise now, just, just two of us? But uh, I'm going to explain a bit how to do that. So first of all, I stand in a very certain position, right? And you pick your position, right? And I'm going to switch. And you switch. And I'm going to switch. And you switch. And I'm going to switch. And you switch. And I go for attack. And that's it. That's only just one attack. And I'm going to switch. And I go again. And again. And again. And I'm going to switch again for form for, for 4, right? And how about you attacking that? Okay, that's it. I want you to play with your positions, okay? Just don't do like this all the time. Switch your positions, like... Fighting with your head, like... Think about this like rock, paper, scissors. This one breaks that one, so I'm going to switch with that one. He's going to play this, I'm going to play something different. We're not fighting, you are not permitted to hit anyone. Okay, stop! Go! Okay, and that would be all, so please come to the line. All of you. All of you. Go, go. All of you. All of you, like, all of you. One single line, one single line. Oh, 
Thank you. 